everybody, welcome to part 3 of what I see with Deku was Highland part 3. We got stuff this week that was the second day of UA. The Superman door was already quite popular with the ladies and everyone else in UA because of his personality and nice, nice statue. But today was going to be a little bit different because they're going to do, that's right, comeback training. When all my went through the door, he said, "I'm walking down the, I'm walking down the hall like a normal hero." They were all excited. Every one of them said, "That's not just a normal hero." You are a superhero! And that person was Kirishima. Isiku thought and said that loud. Huh. So it is. So I'm an Isu teacher. If I look at Isiku for really, really confused looks, Stephen said, Come on, dude. How are you not excited? Isiku said, I don't get excited easily, to be honest. Everyone thought, you are one weird, weird, you are a strange and weird snow leopard, dude. It's a good reply, huh? Don't hate the player, hate the game. Everybody laughed at this. Then I might said, okay, do you know what? The most important part about being a hero is how you look. As you press a button and then boom. Everyone's hero costume was in each of the suitcases, depending on the place they were in during the entrance exam. The number one suitcase belonged to a Sigmundoria. When everybody got done getting dressed in their hero suits, they all complimented, complimented each other about how good they look. And then they they saw two golden glowing eyes in the dark room. They expected to be Suku, which it was. One of them think, oh, I wonder how intimidating he is here, because it is. As he walked out, and they're all disappointed because as you see in the picture, that is Isiku Midoriya's hero costume. So some purple pants and a brown sash. What the man was really, really disappointed. Some of the girls blessed a little bit because Isiku Midoriya was just basically walking around shirtless. Even though he's head to toe and layers and layers of fur. Where I grew up up saying, well, Midoriya, you're, you're simple, are you? Isuke Midoriya said, hmm, I don't like to wear too much clothes. It, it doesn't help my movement. Iraka said, oh, that's cool. Then, I'm going explain about the hero versus feelings. Then he picked out the teams. And I'm going to do something a little bit different. The hero team was Isuku Midoriya and Jomro Please Burning Tina Ila. The hero, the villains was Kasuki Bakugo and Injiro Kirishima. So they start first. Midoriya asks, So Ila, what? What is your, I know your quirk is a engine quirk, but how does your quirk work? You see, Tinga said, what do you mean, Midoriya? You see, could reply by saying, well, I know your brother has the same quirk, but his engines are on a different part of his body. But since your engines are on your back legs, how does that work? Tina Ida explains how his quirk works kind of differently than his brother's. Isuku said, okay, here we're gonna do. After that, All Might 
presses a button see and said he would team me in the building so they entered you see me third start sniffing the air saying the bomb is down the hard behind a big door there's two people Kirishima and Bakugo Tia ear look at his sick of surprise and say how did you know? Isuka said, I was not a bird. We have better sense of better sense of smell than humans. Oh, we're not, we tell you not a snow leopard, it's just your mutation quirk. Mutation and not, I'm still a snow leopard. I think I said, eh, I take a word for it. So, they saw the door. And back up, and back you. Go and Kirishima saw them, and Kirishima tried to act like a fan, saying, Ha ha ha! Well, 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 is it? It's the armored doofus and the kitty cat wannabe. Isiko burst out laughing, saying, Oh my god, you are corny and not doing good, this, are you? Are you crimson? Crimson face. Kirishima said, Crimson face, that's the best insult you can do. Ah, I'm not very good at insulting people. Pocket Girl was annoyed and said, Enough talk, let's fight. As he had, as he usually explodes to prepare and towards his suit, good and so I did. Do I explode to fight hook? But you see, good cat to with one face, I mean, hand. I said, some things are the same, doesn't it, Bucket Girl? Then he kicked, he kicked Bucket Girl right in the face, knocking him back. It was a, it was a battle of the ages. Snorla versus human. Who will win? When Tenya either was fighting Kirishima, Kirishima had the advantage because his quick make his butt be harder than anything. Then he was getting tired and said, Isuku, got any ideas? Isuku replied by saying, One, but I'm glad of it. You probably need to stand a few feet with your villain. Then he was confused and said, What do you mean? Then Isuku uses blue flame tea and make his whole body into flames. He said, Behold, Baku, behold, villain, my new technique. Caught the burning leopard. As he was, as he was somehow faster and stronger. And he went behind Baku and kicked him in the back. And to knock him out with a simple neck chop. Thus, knock it out Baku and winning the battle. Then he touched the bomb and Amai said, Hero team wins! The awesome burning. And Kirishima said, That was the manliest move I ever seen in my whole life. I didn't know you had a fire quirk, Isuku. Isuku replied to Kirishima by saying, That was not a quirk, my friend. That was called Chi. They were confused and even asked, what is Chi? Isuka said, It's what binds us to the life and the spiritual world. Chi is what flows through all of us. Thanks to my training, I'm able to burst my Chi in a beautiful blue flame. They all, they took that answer to the heart, but they want to do the training because they care what he have to do to gain this power. And refused to do so. Everybody was praising Isuku and Amai said, Okay, everybody, who was the MVP of this battle? Momo said, Well, Isuku was the fierce warrior and hero. He knew he died for plan on his feet, even though he was out, even though he was out mad and his feeling, but he always knew. Went to make a plan. I'd say he'll be the MVP. 
Um, I said that was correct. The ear said uh, when tying his hand up and down a girl about. I knew you were the better student. I bow, I bow to you, sir. You see, they said, we're not going to use me praise like this. Isika said, um, thanks ma'am, but you're great too, and I'm glad to be your partner. Oh, we can be partners in the future. As Isika said, as an front as this battle went out at St. Cannon. At lunch, when they went to Azara's office, he said, Okay, everybody, you'll be picking a class representative and president. You have until I wake up. If you don't, if you don't, then you cannot be a true hero if you can't pick someone you think is worthy. I just took a nap. Then Isika said, Okay, let's take it to a vote. As he put out three boxes with, with each rank, he said, These boxes will determine it will be the class representative and class president. Whoever has the most votes in these boxes will be, will be determined to be the president and will. Representative, they all agreed, especially Tina Ida, because he would have never thought of that. So they all voted, and the votes were in. And they, and who got class representative and president was Isika Medoya taking the president and being class representative was Tina Ida. Tanya Ida congrats like Isu once again. And after that they head to lunch. Isiga eats kasutan and raw salmon and dumplings. When he saw when he's when everyone saw him order that, they think you are one weird weird kid. Isika said I know. As he started chowing down, he heard an alarm saying, Alert, alert, this is not a drill. As he looked at the window, it was just depressed. He told Ida and Huraka, who was sitting next to him. But then he had a plan. He asked Uraka to make him float. As he did, he went up to the exercise and roared so loudly, everyone in the school was weakened by his roar, even the ones who wasn't in the cafeteria. He said, calm down everybody, it's just the press. If that's how you would act if a fan was really here, I'm disappointed. You are all trying to be heroes. You should all know how to stand up for yourself and not go down without a fight. If you want to save people, then you must conquer your fears and go plus ultra. They all took this to heart and said, thank you. And that's why I'm going to end this what if off. Thank you.